What's up guys, welcome back to another video, it is me, Trish Salsa, and today, we'll be doing another burnout video, I haven't done one in a long time, it's this, this is uh, the first Burnout Legends video of July, I've been doing a lot of other videos and stuff, like ceiling fan stuff and whatever, that you will hopefully see soon, but today we are going to be doing the top 5 best Coupe cars in Burnout Legends. So let's talk. If I turn this light on, is there gonna be glare? Yes, but not that bad. Okay. For the best list, so five is like the kind of okay ish, and then number one is the best coupe car. So if you're not understanding, that's the order. So starting off with number five. Number five is the Assassin. Now, I wrote this list down on my notebook probably a few weeks ago, so pardon if I don't know all the reasons why. But I wrote next to this one, Road Rage, and it's true. This car is really good for Road Rage. It's kind of on the sluggish side. It's kind of slow. But, you know, maybe for races, it's maybe not the best option. But for Road Rage, it definitely surpasses some of the other cars. And... It's just, it looks cool, it works, you know. I mean, looks don't matter as far as the list and top five, but, you know. I mean, let's be honest, the the SUV, I mean, come on, that's not a very cool looking car in my opinion. But, I don't know. So that's why this one makes it a number five. Number four, it's going to surprise some people, but the Coupe Cop. That Coupe Cop. The reason why this car is really good is just for all the reasons. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna drive it. Why, why talk? I'm just gonna show you why it's good. So it's pretty good. Uh, the collector two is really good, and it's got the genetics. Oh. is good Yeah, this car drifts really well. The handling is pretty good. As you can see, the response time is pretty fair. The acceleration is pretty good. It kind of peaks around 140-ish, which isn't that bad. And it gets there pretty quick, too. When you boost, it's right up to 175. It does not wait. Whoa. Whoa. AL. That's kind of crazy. So, that's why the Coupe Cop is on the number four spot. Okay, let's go back and let's talk about number three. So what is number three? What is the third best coupe car? It's going to kind of surprise some people, but it's a USA car or the Collector 3, which is really cool looking. Um, the Collector 3, for the same reasons, it the acceleration I don't think is as good as the Coupe Cop, but it just I think the handling is a little bit better. It just it's better everywhere else. I think the acceleration is just not as crazy, like the boost acceleration, but I think the drift handling and everything's a lot better. And yeah, and it's basically the thing with the coupe series is for the best list is a lot of them were almost kind of the same. Like the next like the number four, number three, number two spot were pretty much all the same. But uh the number one spot is kind of a clear best so anyway let's move on i mean like i said it's pretty much the same as the coupe cop as far as performance goes so i'm just gonna leave it as that number two the second best coupe car is i know it's stupid some people are gonna cringe it is the collector five yes and the collector five performance wise is i think either the same or just a slight bit better than the legend pickup or whatever the original is called 
This one's really good for the same reasons. The performance, again, is basically the exact same as the Clicker 3 or the Coop Cop. It's kind of on par. It's good acceleration. The handling is really sharp. And for Road Rage, it is also really good for Road Rage because it's a truck and you just shove people out of the way. I personally don't really have any high records with this car, but it is pretty good for Road Rage. And that's why I was it was on the list because it had a lot of the same characteristics as the number four and number three spot. But it has that road rage ability plus the um, handling. The response time is just uh, impeccable. So that is the number two spot. Getting to the number one. The best coupe car in Burnout Legends is another collector. The collector two. This car is just it kills everyone else. I mean, and just to show you, like, the Collector 1 almost made the list as well. Because it's pretty good. You know, the Collector 2 is the best coupe car, in my opinion. The Collector 3 is pretty good. It's, ironically, in the number 3 spot. Top third best car. The Collector 4 is absolute garbage. And I'll talk about that in the top 5 worst coupes. But for number 2, this car is just a clear... Winner, and I'm going to show you the difference between this and the Coupe Cop. It's a little bit better, believe it or not. It just, I've gotten 100 plus takedowns multiple times with this car. It just, I don't know. So the handling, look at the look at the handling. Look at this. I don't know how much clearer I can make that. I mean, the handling is unbelievable. And obviously for Road Rage is also really good because I got 100 plus takedowns with it. Multiple times. The acceleration, we're averaging 155, which is more than the Coop Cop without boosting. And if I do boost, almost in like 0 0.5 of a second up to 175 the drift is amazing i mean look at this it is very good on the handling part it is a little swervy when you're boosting but that's only because it's trying to drift consistently sometimes but you see how like i'm drifting but i can control it i can stop the drift there are some cars where the response time is so bad when you try to stop the drift it doesn't do anything you just run into a wall or a car great boosting I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but whatever. I mean, I didn't even need to do the tail light thing. It just it works. And when you do actually try and drift, it's even better. Like this car, and it's fun to drive because it's a little bit lighter than some of the other ones mentioned. I think that's why the the assassin is kind of sluggish because I think that car is just a boat. That's why. For road rage is really good because it's so heavy, but this car is so light. So as you could see, I mean, man, that thing is just—it's satisfying to drive. I know it's on camera and you're watching this, and it doesn't, you know, translate the same. But when you're actually playing this with this car, it's like—it's just satisfying. It just—it it just drives well. It's a good car, you know. So that is that. So that is pretty much the top five best coupe cars, in my opinion. And if you guys enjoyed this video, I'll see you guys in the next one.